Hello and welcome to the DIY shop today. We're going to be doing condenser swap on this 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, once again, it's the second time I replace it. Um, <clears throat> it went bad on me about a year ago and it's done again. So, got another one and uh, it seems to be a leak in the side. Uh, it's hard to see it. Ah, never mind, it's not going to be able to see. But uh, we're going to go ahead and replace it. And as I did last time, I have I converted it to uh, back to R134A uh, from that new gas that came out. That's more expensive. It runs perfect. It's basically the same thing. And uh, you could actually mix them. Uh, if you could find the adapter, which I did on Amazon, and then you can just put regular 134A if you need to uh, top it off or anything like that. But um, I ran it like that for a couple months, just adding it until I got the new uh, condenser. Uh, it, it ran fine. And then I just converted it back to R134A. So I don't know why they changed it, honestly. You know, every time you go to the shop, they want to charge you triple, quadruple the amount to, um, to add uh, Freon to the unit. So I just converted it back. Works, it's worked perfectly for a year. It just unfortunately, the condenser went bad on me. So I gotta redo it again. So we already got the part in. We're gonna be removing, we're gonna remove this whole front clip. Uh, just time consuming. And uh, we got an old school vacuum pump, new part. We got the gauges so here we go make sure it's the correct part before I start taking the truck apart All right, to remove the bumper, gotta take out these little clips from the bottom. All right, there's a few down here, four of them. Unclip those from the top and clip this section. Take out these clips also. Here too. This all on snap. Here's a couple things you gotta do now. I'm gonna show you on the grill and the whole thing comes up. All right, the front cover is off. There's some plugs you need to remove in there carefully if you have a second pair of hands it'll help better so just to make sure and plug the lights any sensors you know take your time it comes out the worst section is here on both sides it snaps in here you know I don't know how they magically designed this but I mean it must be a, maybe a tool or something but you push it you know pull it a little a little bit I have my panel cooler if you have one it'll be great you know a um, little jerk here and there you gotta be careful don't bend this corner if you pull here it'll bend it and it'll put a little crease on the plastic it's flexible but you have to be extremely careful all right now I know why they use the rivets 
and there's a little clip that goes on here that you gotta take out it's gonna be in the bottom here so you take out this little silver clip and then you don't have to worry about the rivet thing that's why it's riveted on there because you don't need to take it off oh well, you learn something every single day so don't break it take your time find a little silver thing which is right here the bottom of the bumper right there so right there so then this whole piece unlocks this fender so let me take it out right little piece came out so this whole thing goes down and it locks right there Let's see if I can... all right back to you okay so this piece stays on this you don't need to take it out so don't be a dummy like i did and mess it up so take out the little silver piece that goes in this little clip here sorry yeah in the bottom and uh this piece comes loose from the bumper and then it's much easier to take it out of there all right so i learned something today and that's that's pretty much it all right cool Now this is off. This is where the leak is coming from. Like right around this side here somewhere. Turn on the AC, started gushing out. So it looks like that weld there wasn't done properly. Now that everything is pretty much the bumpers off. All right, just a piece of advice. The bottom of the bumper got a little scratch there and I did it by myself. So try to put something on the bottom here just in case if the bumper falls doesn't get scratched. So a couple of those scratches on it, you know. Not too happy about it, but it is what it is. But you know, you gotta take, you know, these brackets out, take out the horn, and uh, you know, you're able to remove this, take out the this little bolt right here. And then you're gonna have to take out the police oil cooler for the transmission and take a uh, snaps right out, goes forward. Let's see, there you, go. you gotta take these out from this radiator from the condenser and, and put it back in the same spot. Same thing as this side. Don't forget that. All right, here we go. Keep on going. I'm gonna continue in the morning. It's getting a little dark, so.
All right, guys. So this is what um what I did. I originally purchased AC Pro. Uh, no, sorry. I uh, originally purchased this one, which is the YF, the new gas. This one here. <clears throat> you can use this with the R134 because this is actually the thread is backwards. So if you try to do it, it isn't, it's not going to happen. <clears throat> So this is the one I originally uh, purchased, but you gotta buy the little cans, it's gonna cost you a lot more money. Um, you could do that if you want to, keep it all the 1234 YF. Uh, if you want to just add regular 134, which is a lot cheaper. Uh, who knows how long this is gonna take for it to get cheaper. If it you know, gets cheaper down the line, I'm sure it will, then it's fine, you can just stay with this. But if you want to you know, redo something in the you could just convert it to R134. So, you know, you, I purchased this after the regular, you know, R134, which you could get anywhere. Uh, Cause these, these cans, uh, when I, a year ago, I, I couldn't find them anywhere. Uh, they were super, super expensive. I had to order them, you know, so that's why I decided to go with a regular R134. So the key here is this adapter. So this is from the, the, the 1234 YF to the R134. So then you could use a regular adapter. If you have the gauges, then I'm sure you could probably do it, <clears throat> but you could get this at Amazon. Uh, I'm sure online you could probably get a couple bucks. It's not, not very expensive. And uh, that's kind of like the key here. So it's all done. So in the Jeep, you gotta take the whole front clip off. Take these two out. Don't need to take the horns out or anything like that. You gotta take these two covers off. Just unplug all these. Just make sure you have a panel puller. It'd be a lot easier. You gotta take out, there's a screw under here. So you gotta take out this little, you know, clips under. Same thing, use a panel puller. You gotta take out this screw. Take these little guys out. Once you take out this whole thing here, then you could just bend this this way. Take out this one. And this clip here, you gotta press it here, and this whole thing comes out. Then you have to remove this from the condenser to put it on the new condenser, and uh, <clears throat> you'll be fine. What else is there? And that thing, that's pretty much it on this side. You know, you don't need to do anything here. <clears throat> and once you put everything back on there, just make sure you don't do what I did. You break these little tabs on <clears throat> the inner uh, tire wall. Just there's a and there's also you gotta take this one, unclip it from the bottom, you know, right here. And uh, when you take this out, like I showed you before, there's a little clip on the in inner, a little silver clip. You unclip that, and then this piece here comes out, you know, put a little jab down. It unclips from up here, then you could take out the bumper a lot easier. Not what I did. I was fussing and complaining last time. I didn't re didn't realize it, that I didn't have to break these. That's why they they actually have them ri you know riveted on there with the plastic. And obviously you know gotta put all the lights back, all the connectors, this connector here. 